Hey guys, it's Megan here and welcome back to my channel. For today's workout, I'm gonna take you through a 15 minute Pilates based booty workout. 15 different exercises, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, no equipment is needed, but if you do have ankle weights, you can always throw those on for a little bit more of a challenge. Now, if you're not already warmed up and you're looking for a quick five minute warm up, go ahead and click the link right here, take my five minute warm up, and then head right back into this Pilates class. Now, with that, you guys, let's jump right into today's workout. down into a three-point kneel position, down onto your elbows, left leg back behind you. We're gonna lift the leg up and tap it back down. So my left leg is nice and straight, shoulders right over those wrists here, belly pulling up and in. My hips are square to the floor. As I'm lifting that left leg up, I'm squeezing into that booty cheek. Great job, you guys. Really be mindful here that you're not arching into that back, so only lifting your leg up as high as you can maintain that stability into that pelvis and low back. Great job, really keeping those hips square, really squeezing into that leg, squeezing into that booty right where that booty and that hamstring meet one another. Nice job, you guys, breathing through it. Continue to lift that leg up. Rest. Now, from here, you're gonna just take it into a pulse. So I'm gonna keep my leg lifted and just pulse it up and down. Great job. Make sure that those hips stay square to the floor. Leg lifts, hold it up, give me that pulse at the top. So just squeeze and lift, little pulses here. Good, I know that booty is burning here. Make sure that you're not dumping all that weight over to that right side. Woo, buns on fire already. We got this, pull that belly button up to the spine here. Keeping that back nice and long and straight. Shoulders sink down out of those ears the whole time. Great job, you guys. Keep on pulsing that leg up. You got it, burning through it. We're gonna take it into fire hydrant leg coming up here next. Now lower the leg down, pop up onto your left hand. I'm gonna lift my left knee out to the side. My leg is now staying bent as it lifts and lowers. Really make sure that you don't tilt all the way to the right side. Here we go, leg lifts and lowers. So as that leg is coming out to the side, think of that knee lifting up in line with the hip. You're gonna feel the outer booty cheek starting to turn on here making sure that you're moving in control. So as you're taking that leg out to the side, really trying to eliminate any movement throughout the rest of the body. Feeling that outer booty engage. We got this almost through it. We have one more exercise on this side before we take it to the other leg. We're gonna take it into a lateral lift coming up. Now extend that leg out to a diagonal here. You're gonna lift the leg up, tap it down, lift up and down. So keep that leg nice and straight. I still like to stay on my palm, but if you wanna go back down to your forearms, you can. We got it, take it up and down. So again, moving in control here. Now that we're in that external rotation, still targeting into that outer booty cheek. Whew, are both buns burning yet? I know mine are. So we are gonna flip over and do the other leg next. You can stay where you are, but I'm gonna take it to the other side. That way you can see my right leg moving. You got it, lifting with control, only lifting as high as you can keep that stability through the body. Buns are burning, aye, aye, aye. We got it, keep on moving. Taking that leg out to this side, lift it up. Squeezing into that leg. Now I'm gonna flip over. We are gonna start right away. Straight leg lifting back behind you. Hips are square to the floor. Pull those shoulders down out of those ears. Squeezing out into that glute to draw the leg up. Now one side may be slightly different than the other. 
So just going to that range on this side where you can still maintain that pelvic stability, but we're just mobilizing here through that hip. As that leg lifts, squeezing right in between that glute and that hamstring, that smile line. Good, you guys. Keeping those hips square. I know that right hip's gonna wanna open out to the side on this one. Straight line from the head all the way through the shoulders, down to the tail, through that big toe as it lifts up. Pulse is coming up here. All right, so you're gonna take that leg up and just give me a tiny little pulse here at the top. Keeping those hips square, so really holding it at that point where you're feeling that booty on fire. So we pulse up and down. with a small range of motion here. Really be mindful that you're not just bouncing, right, but you're squeezing to draw that leg up and down. So lifting up through that core, protecting into that low back. Keeping those shoulders far from those ears, you guys. That back leg is long and straight. Whew. We got it. We're gonna take it into our fire hydrant next. So I'm gonna pop up onto my palm. Yes, you guys, breathe in through it. Keep on lifting that leg up and down. Way to go. Nice. Now lift up onto that right hand. You're gonna draw your right leg out to the side, lower it back down, reach it up and down. So you should feel those buns really burning already. Take it up and down. So as I'm lifting here, I'm doing my best to keep that trunk nice and stable. As that leg goes out to the side, I'm squeezing out through that outer glute. My knee is bent, it comes to a hover, and then it lifts again. Great job, make sure that you're not tensing through that neck, get those shoulders down. We got it. We're gonna take it into that straight lateral lift coming up after this. Sculpting into that tush here. Woo! I know those buns are on fire. Keep on lifting that leg up. Almost there, guys. Now extend that leg out to the diagonal here, keeping that leg long. It's gonna lift and lower up and down. So you should be feeling it all through the outer booty here. We got it, take it up and down. Beautiful. So now that that leg is long, once again, you're probably feeling that burn just a little bit more here. Squeezing into that outer tush. Again, checking in what's going on through that belly, really pulling it up and in, protecting into that back, really just trying to isolate this movement here just into that right leg. Squeeze that thigh, you guys, keep that toe pointed. I'm gonna come down onto my right hip next, lying down onto my side. Awesome, okay, so coming all the way down onto my hip and my elbow, straight line from the toe to the head, lift from the floor, I'm gonna take my leg up and down, just lifting it, so I'm targeting it here into that outer thigh once again. Good, so my hand can go onto my hip, making sure that your pelvis is staying stable, or you can take the hand to the floor. Now if this is a little bit too much, you can always come all the way down onto that side, right, but lifting it off of the floor, it's gonna make it a little bit easier here. Great job, squeeze that thigh, pull that bottom shoulder out of the ear here, keeping that straight line from the toe through the head. You should feel that, this right where that little dimple is on that booty. We're gonna hold our leg up, we're gonna go into a leg circle next. We're gonna divide it up into half forward, half back. So I'm gonna take my leg up, drawing a small little circle going forward. At the halfway mark, you're gonna reverse it. Whew, we got it, you guys. I know the buns are on fire here. Lifting that leg up to your hip height. Now, draw your circle forward, mobilizing through that hip here. Now it doesn't need to be very large of a circle. 
right? Making sure that my pelvis is not salsa dancing here. Woo, pull that belly in nice and tight, you guys. We got it. I know that leg feels so heavy. Now reverse it. So I'm going backwards now. Almost there. We're gonna repeat this here on the uh, or we're sorry, we're gonna come down onto our backs next. We're gonna go into bridging and then we're gonna do the other side. Burning out that tissue, you guys. We got it. So we're gonna take it down onto our backs. Here we go. Line onto your backs. Open the knees, bottoms of the feet come together like prayer. You're gonna boost your hips up into a butterfly bridge. So I squeeze the booty cheeks to lift the hips up. Arms are down by your side, head down, gaze is up. I squeeze the cheeks, lift and lower here, nice. So as I'm lifting here, think of hinging at the hips, straight line from the tail to the shoulders, squeezing into the buns here. Keeping those knees nice and wide. You got it. Almost through our booty workout for today. Keep on squeezing that tushy, lifting up as high as you can. Keeping that back long. All right, we're opening up in those hips, strengthening into that booty. This is also really good to help strengthen into that low part of the back. Awesome, now bend the knees, bottoms of the feet come down. I'm gonna flex my feet on my, on my heels. I'm gonna boost up into a bridge and I'm just gonna squeeze the buns into a pulse. Making sure that the core is tight, your back is long. Let's go, so I'm pulsing it up here. Now you can walk the feet in towards the body to make it a little bit easier. You can walk them further out for more of a challenge. Right, play around with those feet, making sure that you like the position of those legs. Really just think of squeeze and lift. So squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Nice job, pull that belly up and in. You got it, you guys. I want you to think of pulling those heels towards you and then reaching the knees away from the face, right? So I'm really targeting here into the backs of the legs. Opening up into those hip flexors, squeezing into the booty. Awesome, now set the feet down. We're gonna march, so we're gonna hold it up at the top. I'm gonna draw one leg up, then the other. So I'm keeping my hips lifted, I'm hinging to draw my leg into a tabletop position. So really think of keeping your trunk nice and stable here as that leg is lifting up here. Wrinkle coming on the pants. As that leg is rising, you're gonna wanna start to lean the body in the opposite direction. So really think of keeping nice and centered here. Awesome job, if you want more challenge, you can land up on the toes. Right, that's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge here. So we're gonna take it back onto our sideline next. Other leg coming up. So I'm gonna come onto my left side. Okay, so coming onto my left side here. Top leg is straight. I'm gonna start to lift up and down. Modification, coming all the way down onto your side or staying on your elbow and your hip. Let's go, take it up and down. Good, so you can take that top hand onto your hip here. Down onto the floor is a little bit more support. Making sure that your waistline is engaged. If your hips are not stacked, you're probably not feeling it as well. So making sure that your hips are stacked and in parallel. That leg is nice and straight. You should feel it all through that top thigh and booty. Awesome job. We have those circles coming up here next. So we're gonna go forward half, then back for half. Okay, so take that leg up right in line with your hip. You're gonna draw your circle forward for the halfway mark and then reversing it for the other half. We got it, you guys. We're almost through this workout. This is our last exercise. Taking that leg up to hip height, drawing that forward circle. So again, as I'm drawing my teeny tiny circle, I am making sure that there is no movement throughout the rest of the body. 
This should burn like crazy. Yeah, you're feeling that tushy? Keeping that leg nice and parallel. Keep those shoulders down from those ears. Always take it down to the floor if you need to. And reverse it. So going into that backward direction circle now or wherever you were doing before, just reverse it. Woo, almost there you guys, hang it on. Try not to drop that leg, you can do it. Keep it lifted. Yes, you can. Sculpt it into those buns here. Keep that core in tight, focus on your breath. And let's lower that leg down. Great job, you guys. That was my 15 minute Pilates booty workout for today. I hope those buns are burning after that class. If you like today's workout, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and turn those push notifications on so you are staying up to date with all the workout videos. Also, send a comment below as to what you liked about today's workout or maybe what you would like to see for a future workout of mine. Now, if you want a little bit more out of today's workout, go ahead and check out my next videos that I will be popping up here shortly so you can add on to today's workout. Otherwise, again, thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you again here in my next class.